These are lessons that you're ready for. These are lessons that are very naturally in line with who you are, what's going on with you, and where it is that you're headed. Welcome card readers, April here on Tarot and Witchery. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're returning, thanks so much. I appreciate all of you and the relationships that we're developing. This is a spread as we move into the dark half of the year, as we make that descent. This is my Persephone spread. And this spread helps us as we take that walk into the descent of our personal womb to be transformed because that is what the Persephone myth is all about. Persephone myth is all about, about trans being transformed by taking that journey into ourselves in order to grow into our power. As a five card spread, I'm gonna put the camera over the table and show it to you. If you're interested in getting these spreads as PDFs, then sign up for my newsletter down below, down there and you will find that they come in your inbox before the video even goes up. As always, you're gonna to want to choose a deck that you feel is right for this spread. And again, this is about descending into the womb of self, self-exploration and really getting in lock sync with the season of the year, the cycle of the year as we descend into the dark half of the year. So I have right here the intuitive night goddess tarot that I am using you want to make this even more magical then you can go ahead and light some candles or some incense that really set that sort of dark goddess vibe up for you and get yourself nice and centered card number one you'll be asking yourself what do i need to know as i descend into the dark half of the year and you'll put that right in the center that's kind of what you need to know Spirit of Pentacles. Wow. Okay, great. I'm totally happy with that. Love this. Love the dark background here. It's just beautiful. I'm actually wearing my Persephone shirt right now. Card number two. What support from the other side do I receive? What support from the other side do I receive? And you may be asking like, what other side? I think that's up to you. Do you feel like you're receiving it from the top side of the world, the light side, the light half? You know, if are you from from like the Demeter side if you're following that myth? Or is it support from the dark side? You get to choose what you feel like you need as far as support wise goes. And that one goes down here beneath because it is underneath you, right? It's coming up in order to support you. Card number three what protects and covers during the descent. So this is basically about as you are going within, as you are going deeper and deeper within, what is it that you can depend on that is covering and protecting you? Because whenever we go deep within, as whenever we delve into the darker part of ourself, we find ourselves in a place where we want to know that we are protected and covered, and that's gonna go above you. So, and I got introspection, isn't that gorgeous? I got the hermit, <laughs> great, <laughs> I'll take it. These are wonderful cards. Card number four, what wisdom do I carry with me from the light half of the year? This is something in particular that you need in order to navigate this time that you picked up during the light half of the year. And of course, this came before you, right? So that goes right there, the Empress. Wow, this is a really wonderfully powerful read. I love all of the cards that I'm getting for myself. They're beautiful. Your last card is about the gift, the gift of this time. As you make that descent, Persephone had a gift that she received. And I'm not just talking about the sort of bastardized version of it, but the real implications of becoming a woman, coming into herself and her power and becoming queen, right? So your question number five is, what gift awaits me in the darkness of self? You're entering the darkness of self. What gift awaits me in the darkness of self? So many good things waiting there. What's waiting for me? Wow, five of cups, interesting. That's an interesting one to get as a gift. Makes sense for me because my my card this year, my yearly tarot card is death. So this really makes sense to me. 
This is a great spread to do on All Hallows Eve, but you can also do it when you're ready to really look at what it is that you're working on in your shadow self, in that space that's really deep within you. Again, to me, this Persephone spread is about making that descent into your own personal womb, a place of transformation and growth where secrets are hidden, where there are so many mysteries that are woven together in a way that is very natural. Like in the womb, we are knit together in a way that our mom is not thinking about. We know how to do that. And so as you look at these cards, think about this from your own personal power space that these are lessons that you're ready for. These are lessons that are very naturally in line with who you are, what's going on with you and where it is that you're headed. Let me know what you think about this spread down below. And until we meet again, may you enjoy the journey to self that comes from letting go, trusting and going deeper than you have before.